I get excited to teach HCI 548 because it's really the first time that the students in the program get the opportunity to think of their innovation, whether it's an idea for a new process, idea for a product or an application, and then begin to take that through the steps of the innovation process, the seven pillars of innovation that we talk about in, in the program. And then by the end of the class, they end up with a proposal or a pitch so that they can continue to move it forward. And then they can also use that idea all the way through to their capstone. So they really learn the steps of how to take it through the process and begin to sell the idea so that it actually could become a reality. Students can expect that in this class, uh, they'll learn about the innovation process and the steps they need to take. They'll get peer feedback from each other about what their peers see in their ideas, uh, what they see that's working well, what they have some opportunities for, for improvement, and then they can refine their idea. But with each process or each piece of that, it's the opportunity to make it better. And that's really the whole idea behind innovation and change anyway, is taking it through that continuous process improvement cycle.